good day Glowforge and Inkscape friends. I'm back with another instant Inkscape tutorial today. I'm gonna give you what I call the cardboard phone stand challenge. Now I'm creating this lesson because I want you to be able to learn how to build certain items uh, just from your ideas and then take somebody's flawed one, like see how this is floppy and not staying together and build it a lot smarter. Plus use some cool techniques while you're building with Inkscape. So if you follow this exactly like I show you in the movie, you will have a copy of this. I will also have this available for download on Thingiverse, but I'm guaranteeing you it won't work. It's not built to work. It's built for you to look at it, pick up a ruler and say, oh, this would be smarter and make a better one. That is my goal is for you to learn how to design your perfect design by looking at someone else's mistakes. So let's get cracking. First things first, you can see that I am in Inkscape and I have my Glowforge template loaded. We're going to start with the rectangle and then I'm going to tell you that a good place to start is a rectangle with a width of 70. So notice I just drug it out and then I'm going to type the 70 that I want and I want the height to be 120. And those are measured in millimeters. This 3x and 3y, that is how much it rounds the corners. Just so it looks kind of nifty, I'm going to change those to 4 so I can see how it adjusts it. Just makes it a little more rounded. The next part of the project is to have the groove that lets the cardboard interlock, which makes it so it can stand up. I'm going to use that same rectangle tool. I'm going to just draw one, and then I'm going to go up and change its numbers. Now, since my whole distance across was 70, I'm going to do a width of 35, which is half of that. And then I need the height to be 5 millimeters because I'm guessing that's how thick my cardboard is. I'm going to zoom in so I can see better what I'm working with. And I don't want this rounded edge. I want it to be cut out. I'm going to zoom back out to the larger size by clicking the zoom and then right clicking to zoom out. We need one of these for the other side as well for eventually having a piece that holds the phone in place. So it's going to be a two piece part. So I'm going to do control C and control V. So I've got a second one, but I'm going to set it aside for a moment. Now I'm going to grab both of these items. And this is what's really, really cool. If you do path and you do difference, it cuts out that little area. So boom, we can slide our cardboard together. I don't know the exact perfect place to put this second one. So like for holding a lip, but I'm going to just pick one and then I'm going to adjust um, my original design. I can guarantee you they were, they were this close. So I'm going to make this close to my original design by once again doing the path and doing the difference again. This is all it takes to make the initial design for the phone stand. You need to just print two of these and then slide them together. See how close it fits and then come back to your project and arrange it in a different fashion. Now I would do that by doing undo, but you could also just rebuild it just as fast. So right here, I'm going to just do control Z to get it back to where it was. And now I'm fully capable of spreading these out to different locations so I can change how much space there is for the phone to be held and also the angle at which it's going to tilt. Now this design was built so that you only had to use one piece uh, and cut it the same. But you could also do control D and then move that copy across so you could have different arrangements. I would also like you to eventually come up with a hole for the phone charger, maybe a gap for the cord to come through and all the other fancy things you could cut out here to make your design a little more epic and fit your taste. When you've got your parts like this, it is kind of neat. If you just grab this, you can stretch it across to different lengths. You can really make quick adjustments to try and then cut. They cut in about two minutes on the Glowforge and you just simply do your path difference again and boom, you are ready to try your new part. So hey friends, here you can see a version that one of my students made. Uh, this one is much more snug. It does not move apart. There is a location for the phone to sit inside. There is even a hole for the phone charger. Their next was to be able to put a cord through here so the cord could run out the back and all kinds of cool things that they could add. So it's a neat project. I'm watching kids do it. It's using cardboard, which is free. And if you're trying to get people to learn how to actually design things, this is a free fun project that just about anybody can use because just about everybody has a phone. So hey, if you find this useful, friends, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. 
you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. Last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.